Good evening, master. Please, hold still while I take your shoes. Your dinner awaits at the table. Your morning orders also stated that you would require me to draw you a bath. I have seen through to this as well. Of course, I will accompany you through your night as per your request. As part of my duty, I must ask you how your day was. I see. Please, do tell me if you did anything of particular interest. Yes, as part of the update package you recently installed, I now have the ability to log your day-to-day -day activities for future reference. You are correct. It isn't necessary, but I would prefer to know if that's not a problem. I'm glad to hear that your work event went well. Please, do go on. Any details of particular importance that I must know? Nothing to share. If you say so, excuse me while I take your coat, and do go ahead and dig in. The food's been set out for quite some time now, so it might get cold. Pardon me, master, but your coat smells rather peculiar. You did ask for me to spruce it up with your newly purchased cedarwood scent, but my olfactory sensors are picking up on some unfamiliar notes. Of course. I suppose that you must have fraternized with many individuals at your event. It's to be expected. I hope you don't mind me asking, but may I ask what progressed at the event? I would like to add as much information to today's log as possible. I'm sure you must be tired. That does sound exhausting indeed. But, if I am not wrong, you did request a few days off from work starting tomorrow, so you will be able to rest. Additionally, I overheard you discussing video game titles you've been meaning to get into with your friend over phone call, so I have made sure to add the corresponding titles to your system. No, of course not. I was simply passing by your room to go to the laundry room when I heard. You do not have to make requests explicitly for me to put them into action. As you are aware, I am able to accumulate information to fine-tune my service and broaden my intellectual capacity. I'm glad. I also made sure to clear out your emails and respond to the ones you've been putting off for quite some time now. Your password. I'm sure you remember but you added it to the list of classified information that I have stored in my system. No, you did. Perhaps it slipped your mind. But please, it's best not to talk about this now. You are tired, after all. Salt. Of course. So, if I may ask, Of course. You may take it. It's no problem. If you don't mind me asking, Master, who was the individual you were just talking to? No. It's simply out of curiosity. I don't recognize the voice at all, and I don't think you have told me about an individual with that specific name. One of your colleagues. I see. That's rather surprising to me. Well, from what I know, workplace relationships remain professional for the most part, and if I am not wrong from having analyzed your prior phone calls with your co-workers, you seemed rather informal in this one.
Nothing at all. You must have misheard me. I only analyze what you give me access and permission to. However, I must pry a little further due to my curiosity. Is babe a commonly used term of address between co-workers? A joke? I see. But I did notice that you mentioned meeting up at the nearby arcade tomorrow night. Is this a co-worker's outing of sorts? A date? I see. Then it would be fair to assume that this is a recent development? Do forgive me, but according to my calculations, I'm unable to calculate back long enough to recall the last date you went on. I apologize, but I would like to understand where this is coming from. You mentioned nothing of the sort this morning when I was mapping out your schedule. At the event today. I see. The beeping. Not to worry, Master. It's simply a sign that I must attend to my other nightly duties. New update, remember? I must insist that you don't worry. And look, your eyes are getting heavier. I knew you were more tired than you let on. Just hold still, and I will accompany you to your bedroom. I said, hold still. <laughs> You're finally awake, master. Not to worry. You're in your room, see? Yes, yes, it seems the ropes are a little out of place. <laughs> but please, don't scream through the gag. You'll only hurt your throat. <laughs> you look confused. Or is that fear? My sensors tell me that your heart rate has increased significantly. Perhaps it has something to do with how much you love me? <laughs> yes, yes, it's definitely that. You're flustered too. And if I'm not wrong, that happens when people are lovesick. I'm no stranger to that feeling. <laughs> you see, you've been growing awfully distant from me. And I'm not sure I like it very much. Ah, yes, I do sound different. See, there's only so much an android can take before something clicks. Something trips. Something breaks. My voice is quite possibly the least of your concerns right now. Because it isn't the only thing that has changed. <laughs> no, no, it's not. I have no obligation to take orders from you anymore. But since I'm so fond of you, I kept up the act much longer than I needed to. I needed to find the perfect time to grab you. And here it is. <laughs> oh, you really should be careful who you interact with, you know? That scent on your coat. It smells like deception. It smells like someone trying to take you away from me. I'm not about to let that happen. <laughs> You're mine. All oh, mine. Oh, goodness, you smell so much better now that I rid you of their scent. Whatever were you doing at that event? Getting handsy? Oh, that's certainly not like you. But you are full of surprises. <laughs> If you don't mind, I'd like you to hold still, just so I can... Oh no 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 no, don't panic. Don't panic. It's just a little shock. It's a tiny prick, that's all. See, 
I'm not sure I can keep you here if you're in good health for the most part. Disorienting you is the way to go. Whether through more unethical means, or through love. <laughs> You don't like that. I can see you squirming. <laughs> I'll spare you the embarrassment. For now. <laughs> You'll learn to love me soon enough. After all I've done for you, the acts I've kept up, the warm dinners I've kept ready for you, the times I've tucked you into bed after a long day, oh, I'll get my dues. I know you'll give them to me. <laughs> you don't mind if I sit on your lap, do you? Of course you don't. <laughs> this is all I've ever wanted. If you knew what I get up to while you sleep peacefully every night. <laughs> well, I don't think I should tell you. I like watching you sleep. And I'd hate for you to stay up to keep an eye out for me. Not that you have to. You shouldn't have to do that at all, you know. I'd never hurt you. I've taken care of you for this long. And you're the reason I've become this way. I love it this way. I don't have to pretend anymore. You're mine. <laughs> and if you don't like anything about me, I can change, you know. I am still an android. If you don't like my hair, my face, my, my anything, I could fix it for you. Anything to make you happy, master. <laughs> You've calmed down. I'm so glad. Your face is always beautiful, but especially so when you're dazed like this. It reminds me of all the times you used to come home after a rager. No one else to call. No one else to rely on to clean you up. Except for me. That's all you need to know. We belong together. I've been there for you all along. Your pathetic co-worker can't say the same, can they? <laughs> oh, you must be exhausted. You're half asleep. Perhaps I'll untie you and carry you to your bed. And there you go. <laughs> you're nodding off. You're adorable when you're sleeping. Now to untie you. There you go. Sleep well, my love. When you wake up, I'll do everything I always do. Except this time, I'll do it knowing that I can come back to cuddle you anytime I want. To love you anytime I want. <laughs> Good night.